Have you ever wondered how the universe began? Our story starts around 13.8 billion years ago, with an event known as the Big Bang. Imagine, if you will, a state of existence so dense, so hot, that it's virtually impossible to comprehend. This was the universe, condensed into a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. Then, in an instant, this singularity began to expand. This marked the beginning of everything we know, of space, time, matter, energy, and even the laws of physics themselves. And the most fascinating part? This expansion hasn't stopped. It's happening even now, as you listen to this. The universe is still growing, still stretching out into the infinite tapestry of existence. So, the Big Bang set the stage. But what happened next? Stay tuned to find out. Our cosmic journey has only just begun. Within milliseconds after the Big Bang, the universe was a hotbed of activity. Picture a boiling pot of soup, bubbling and churning with energy. That's what our universe was like. But instead of water and vegetables, it was filled with elementary particles named quarks and gluons. These particles were so hot and packed so densely together that they were virtually inseparable. But as the universe expanded, it cooled down and something fascinating happened. The quarks and gluons began to combine, forming particles we're more familiar with, protons and neutrons. This process took place within the first few minutes of the universe's existence. These protons and neutrons then started to come together, creating the first atomic nuclei, the heart of every atom. It's a bit like sticking together building blocks, but on an unimaginably tiny scale. These were the building blocks, but how did they become more complex structures? As the universe cooled, around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, something new happened. The universe had cooled down enough to allow electrons to combine with nuclei. This significant event in the cosmic timeline marked the birth of neutral atoms. Prior to this, the universe was a hot, dense plasma where electrons and nuclei were separate. But as the universe expanded and cooled, the conditions became just right for electrons and nuclei to come together and form atoms, mostly hydrogen, some helium, and traces of lithium. This process, known as recombination, changed the universe's nature. It was no longer a plasma, but a gas. This change allowed photons, the particles of light, to travel freely across the cosmos, creating the cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation is a snapshot of the universe at this time, and still observable today. These atoms were the seeds of everything we see today. But how did they form galaxies? Gravity, the silent architect, began to shape the universe around one billion years after the Big Bang. This fundamental force of nature took center stage, using its invisible hands to sculpt the cosmic landscape. The universe, previously a relatively uniform soup of matter, began to exhibit small fluctuations in density. These tiny ripples in the universe's fabric were caused by quantum fluctuations in the early universe. As the universe expanded, these minute variations in density grew along with it, sowing the seeds for the formation of cosmic structures. Gravity seized on these density differences. The regions with slightly higher density began to pull in more and more matter from their surroundings. As more matter congregated, the gravitational pull increased, leading to a snowball effect. Over time, these denser regions grew into vast cosmic structures that we now recognize as galaxies and clusters of galaxies. Within these galaxies, a similar process took place. Regions of higher density collapsed under their gravitational pull. This collapse triggered a cascade of events that led to the birth of stars. As these regions contracted, they heated up, kindling the nuclear fires that power stars. In these fiery crucibles, hydrogen fused into helium, releasing energy and light. But the story didn't end there. Stars are cosmic factories, forging heavier elements in their cores through cycles of nuclear fusion. These elements are the building blocks of planets and life as we know it. When massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel, they end their lives in spectacular supernovae explosions, scattering these elements into space. From the debris surrounding young stars, 
planets began to form, setting the stage for the birth of solar systems. Each galaxy, each star, each planet, a testament to the power of gravity and the richness of the universe. These galaxies and stars are the building blocks of the universe as we know it. But there's more to the universe than meets the eye. Dark matter, an elusive player in the cosmic drama, continues to baffle scientists. Imagine a character in a play who never speaks, never appears under the spotlight, yet influences the entire plot. That's dark matter for you. It's a silent protagonist in the universe's grand narrative, a phantom presence that neither emits, absorbs nor reflects light. Yet it's an undeniable part of the cosmic equation. How do we know it's there if we can't see it? It's like feeling the wind. You don't see the wind, but you see the leaves rustling, the trees swaying. Dark matter, in a similar vein, interacts with visible matter through gravity. Its presence is inferred from the gravitational effects it exerts on galaxies and galaxy clusters. Imagine a cosmic dance, with visible matter and dark matter swaying to the rhythm of gravity, choreographing the movements of galaxies across the universe, yet the exact nature of dark matter remains shrouded in mystery. It's like trying to describe a song you've never heard, a painting you've never seen. We know it's there, we see its effects, but we're still trying to uncover what it truly is. It's one of the most significant mysteries in astrophysics, a puzzle piece that's yet to find its place in the cosmic jigsaw. But the cosmic drama doesn't end there. The universe is still expanding, a cosmic balloon inflating continuously. This expansion is influenced by both visible matter and dark matter, and a mysterious force called dark energy. It's as if the universe is on a never-ending journey, driven by an invisible engine, with dark matter and dark energy at the helm. The universe is a grand stage, its story still unfolding. As we continue to observe and explore, who knows what mysteries we will uncover next. So let's keep watching the cosmic drama, let's keep asking questions. After all, the universe is full of surprises and the curtain is far from falling.